Hello and welcome to another accounting tutorial where today we'll be looking at how to value inventory. Now there are three main ways to value inventory but today we'll be focusing on using the last in first out method. So by the end of this video you should understand what the last in first out method of inventory valuation is and how to apply it to an example scenario. Last in first out is often shortened to LIFO and under this method we assume that any inventory issued to the production department or that's sold to customers uses the latest or newest purchase prices relating first to that inventory. This leaves the remaining inventory left in stock to be valued at the earliest or oldest purchase prices. It's important to understand from the start that for any valuation method used it's referring to the earliest or latest price of the inventory purchased, not the physical stock itself. With that in mind, then you can see on screen now an inventory record card. Now this is used to show receipts of inventory, issues of inventory, and the remaining balance after a receipt or issue. In the first column, we'll show the date of the transaction. The next three columns will cover the details of receipts, and the following two columns will then show the details of issues, with the last two columns showing the remaining balance. Using this template, let's have a look at how to value inventory based upon the last in first out method. On the 1st of May, Hawkins Limited had 8,000 kilograms of material, 11 in its inventory, which was valued at £6.60 per kilogram. The following receipts and issues took place in May. Complete the business's inventory record card. So we start off with the opening balance at the beginning of the month. This would be 8,000 kilograms, and the question stated that these would be valued at £6.60 per kilogram, giving us a total value of £52,800. Our next line would be the receipt of goods on the 4th of May. This would be 6,000 kilograms at £6.65 per kilogram. We then add the kilograms and the cost to the existing balance at the start of the month, to give us our updated balance following the receipt of inventory. Now we need to record our first issue on the 13th of May under the last in first out inventory valuation method. For this then we would start from the newest inventory available, which would be the 6,000 kilogram receipt recorded on the 4th of May. Now as the issue is for 9,000 kilograms, this still leaves a further 3,000 kilograms that needs to be taken from the next available inventory which in this case would be the opening balance. This would therefore be taken from the 8,000 kilograms that we started the month with. With this in mind, the value of the issue would be made up of two inventory values, 6,000 kilograms multiplied by £6.65, plus the 3,000 kilograms multiplied by £6.60, equaling a total of £59,700. We then need to calculate the remaining balance. Before the issue, we had 14,000 kilograms and we've issued 9,000 kilograms. The remaining balance in kilograms would therefore be 5,000. The value of this inventory would be the balance before the issue of 92,700 pounds, less the value of the issue, 59,700, giving us a new balance of 33,000. Following this, we can now record the receipt on the 19th of May. This follows the same principles as the first receipt. We can simply add the 7,500 kilograms and the cost of 51,000 to our existing balance. This would give us a new balance of 12,500 at a value of 84,000 pounds. The last transaction to record would be the issue on the 24th of May of 5,000 kilograms. Remember, this will be valued at the newest purchase price of remaining inventory. We would therefore take this from the receipt on the 19th of May. The value of this issue would therefore be calculated as 5,000 kilograms multiplied by £6.80. To calculate our final balance then, it would be the previous balance as at the 19th of May, less our issue on the 24th of May. This would therefore be 12,500 kilograms less 5,000 kilograms, giving us a new balance of 7,500 kilograms at a valuation of 50,000 because we take the previous £84,000 balance and take off the issue of £34,000. And that wraps up this video on the last in first out inventory valuation method. I hope you found this video useful and if you have, 
hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more AAT content. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.